Welcome to another episode of Andy's Making. I'm Andy, and today I'm going to be making Christmas cocktails. It's Christmas, everyone likes to drink. Why not drink some cocktails? You can have these when you wake up. Before you go to bed, anytime really. So what we're going to do? Well, we're going to do a Christmas whiskey sour. We're going to make a Christmassy French seventy-five and a Christmassy mocktail for any of those non-drinkers or drivers out there. Um, they're Christmassy because I've put a very slight twist on them. So yeah, hopefully these will be easy to follow. Um, I'll put all the ingredients and all those things that you need in the description of the video. So I'm just going to show you the method. Uh, might give you some prompts along the way, who knows. See how it goes. So, first things first. Right. Let's crack on. You're going to need to get yourself a lovely glass. We're gonna do the whiskey sour first, so just a you know like a nice little tumbler. Just sort you out. Get yourself a cocktail shaker. Ooh. And then it's always useful to have a little filter thing, strainer. Um, because we're gonna be making whiskey sours with an egg alternative. Exciting, I know. For all those vegans out there, really annoying that you can't have an egg in your whiskey sour because it gives it that velvety, smooth texture, which I absolutely love. So, there is an alternative, and it's not what you would expect. So, we'll talk about that and we'll get into that in a minute. So, uh, let's start by adding some. I've gone for Naked Mark bourbon, but you can do whatever you want. Typically in cocktails, you don't use good quality whiskey or good quality liquors because they're cocktails. You're not going to really taste the, you know, the purities of refined liquor. So probably better just to use whatever. Jim Beam, Famous Grouse, and I'm using Naked Mark. I'm going to do a double shot of these. So double measure, and then we're going to use the single measure. See that? That's going in. So, we've got our whiskey in there. Now, the secret Christmassy ingredient, maple syrup. Instead of sugar syrup, we're gonna use maple syrup. And we're gonna add a single shot of that. Fill that up to the brim, pour that in there. Mm. Then you're gonna need to get yourself a lemon, slice it, get yourself a juicer, and juice. Hopefully better than what I'm doing. And what we want is a double of these, I'd say. Now for that secret ingredient we were talking about earlier, while well, I was talking, you were listening, uh, is, believe it or not, chickpea juice. It's called aquaphobia, phoba, aquaphoba, aquafoma, something like that. And basically it's kind of like a foam for drinks alternative. You can use it, apparently you can use it to make um, meringue, and all sorts of stuff that, uh, that you, can't, um, you, you can't do as a vegan because you can't eat eggs. So yeah, this is, this is the stuff. So what we're gonna do is just, again, we're gonna do a single of the chickpea juice. And this is gonna give it that velvety 
texture without any of the weird eggy smell or taste. Get that in. Perfect. And what I like to do is to add a little bit of bitters. Just do a splash really. Just a little splattery. Add our ice. There you go. I've added me ice. Mmm. Look at that. So, if we take the lid. So, we're just going to take the lid off of our cocktail shaker. It can be a tricky process. Look at the foam on that, that is brilliant. Oh, it smells divine. There we go. Let's pour it in. Let's add some more rice, top up that glass. I don't know why I use the strainer to be honest, stupid. Let's get rid of that. Get a nice slice of this clementine. I'm gonna to top that on there. And then we're gonna add a cherry. Boop! And there we go, nice little whiskey sour. Taste it. Oh, yeah. That is the bollocks. That's the bubbles, that. That's lovely. Really, really nice. So there you go. Right, well, that's a success. Let's move on to the next cocktail. French 75, it's one of my favourite cocktails of all time. Let's get our glass. Now typically you use a flute, I don't have any, so you use a wine glass instead. Cocktail shaker. And we want to juice a lemon. Right, let's get our juicer. Out. Now I'm going to be controversial and say that I like my French 75s really, really lemony. I think it's better that way. But if you don't, if you don't want them too citrusy, you don't want them too sour, then just do half a lemon um, for for most people. Um, like your nan, she's not going to want a full lemon. Your mum probably half a lemon. Your dad full lemon. Maybe, maybe your mum will do full lemon, and your dad half lemon, you know. My dad will have full lemon, my mum half lemon. Sometimes full lemon. So let's get that in here. In the cocktail shaker. Oh yeah. So, the lemon's in there. Sick. So then we need our gin. Now, another little Christmassy twist to the French 75. You can use any gin, but I've got specifically, and I'll, I'll hide the label, but it's rhubarb and ginger. I think it gives this like just such a nice, kind of exotic flavour for Christmas. So I'm going to put a double in of this, double measure. There she goes. And then we're going to get our sugar syrup, I made this sugar syrup area, area, earlier. All you do is boil down, I don't know, let's say 150 grams of sugar to about 50 milliliter of water, let it reduce until um, the, it's reduced by half, 
and then put, decant that into a glass or a bottle or whatever. And then you get yourself a nice strong sugar syrup. I do half a single shot in here because it's really, really sweet. So pour that in there. So that will uh, that break. It's still so good. So we've got our yeah, so we've got our lemon juice, our gin, our sugar syrup, then we're gonna add our ice. I'm no mixologist, but making pauper cocktails as opposed to just doing vodka and coke or you know gin and tonic, although uh, gin and tonic I've got a lot of time for that, is just so much better. Just you know, even if you know, even if the balance is off, even if it's you know, it doesn't come out perfectly, it's still going to be good. And make sure you how you want it to be. Don't let anyone tell you how your cocktail should be. Go to a bar, maybe go, I'll have some more vermouth in that martini, please. Um, it's how you, that's how you like it, really, is in more thing. Anyway, we've got our ice now, so let's shake her up. Here we go. Perfect. Exactly the right amount. Get our uh, champagne or prosecco. <sighs> Woo! Top it up. So now we're going to add the garnish. Lemon. And what we're going to want to do is make a, a swizzle. Okay. So then, put it down. I'm gonna cut the edges off. We don't want them. And then with this next one, depending if you're gonna do like five or six of these cocktails, it's good to leave this strip. And then you can just cut maybe half a centimeter off the edge. Like that, put that to one side, and then you've got yourself a little bit of lemon rind, and you're just going to twist, just twist it round so it's even like that. Keep holding it, and then when you let go, you've got a nice little swizzle. So, bring the glass back into it, sit them on the side, take a pinch of allspice, and I mean a pinch, a tiny, tiny little amount, and then just from a distance, slowly drop it in, okay? Just a little bit. Don't want to go too mental because it will be horrible for the person who drinks it. And there you go. Cheers. Oh, that is good. That is really good. Mmm. Wow. Important that you get the rhubarb and ginger gin. I think it changes the whole thing. It makes it so much better. So much more Christmas. Well, this one was lovely. So good. Ooh. So, next we're going to make a mocktail. As always, shake it. Orange, half of cocktail shaker. Ice. Rosemary. Get a sprig of rosemary. Break it in half. Whack that in there. Put the lid on. And we're gonna give it one hell of a vigorous shake. Now we 
and vigorously shook it. We pour the contents into our glass. Look at that, so much orange juice. Whoever said you could squeeze an orange with ice in a shaker? I'll fill this glass with ice. Got our ice in there, so now we're going to top it up with some soda water. Fill it to the brim. Lovely. We add a cinnamon stick. The other half of the rosemary. Some pomegranates, about a teaspoon. Just layer them over the top. And there you have it. A lovely Christmas mocktail. Really refreshing. The orange, a little subtle orange hint to the soda water. The cinnamon just pulls through and then you've got the rosemary that's muddled in. Really nice little mocktail for anyone not drinking over the Christmas period. Well, there we have it, our three Christmas cocktails. We have our whiskey sour with maple syrup. We have our uh, French 75 with a rhubarb and ginger uh, gin and the sprinkling of allspice on the top. And we have our mocktail, which has got cinnamon, pomegranates and rosemary. Mmm, lovely smells of the Christmas period. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've enjoyed making these cocktails and drinking them and I hope you do too. Anyway, have a lovely Christmas and a wonderful new year. Subscribe.